I usually get up at 4.30 in the morning to cook for them so that it will all be ready by 7. In a South St. Louis kitchen, they're serving up love with the side of healing. The kids are counting down the days. Peggy Winkowski, known affectionately as Grandma Peggy, cracks eggs and flips pancakes with practiced ease. I would say we make 10 dozen eggs. I had over 200 pancakes. I had 12 pounds of bacon. Every week for two years, dozens of teenagers have been coming to Grandma Peggy's for a plate full of Dawn Delights. Her grandson, Sam Crow, a sophomore at Bishop DeBerg High School, cooked up something called the Wednesday Breakfast Club. There's ketchup and cheese. They used to meet at a diner until Sam explained that his grandmother's cooking could put any restaurant to shame. I loved it, and we only eat on real dishes here because I will never serve you on a paper plate. There's just some guys and grandma, and then it grew pretty quickly, and you know, that was Oh, in part to Sam, you know, he just was always inviteful to everyone. But then the tradition was shattered by heartbreak when Sam was killed in a tragic accident. It was the most devastating thing that I've ever been through. It was horrific. In the face of such loss, many thought the breakfast club would end. Instead, it became a lifeline. Hi. Hi. The very next Wednesday, even more students showed up at Grandma Peggy's door. Hey, what's up, Grandma? Oh, not much. I missed you guys. And they've been coming ever since. Even if I'm so tired on Wednesdays, like, I want to go to Breakfast Club. I love it so much. How are you? Good, how are you? It's almost like a warm hug. It's like you walk in, you're greeted by Grandma, you smell the breakfast. It's just like the best way to wake up. I lost my Sam, but look how many I got. On this day, it's breakfast for dinner as they mark what Grandma Peggy calls the second angel versary of Sam's passing. Another chance to honor him and heal together. It was a big turning point in most of our lives when that happened. So I think it's important to remember that and honor that. Now the nourishment extends beyond the kitchen. This is our Sam's garden. Outside on the front lawn, a garden planted by the students stands as a living memorial. It brings tears to my eyes every time I walk by it. And Grandma Peggy will soon be cultivating hope on the pages of a children's book. Hi, how are you guys? She's working with an experienced author to write about grief. Grief just means you had a lot of love. On a Wednesday, I gotta make sure it's all up and ready to go so that they can get to school on time. Back in the kitchen, memories of Sam are as warm and comforting as the pancakes. I know that Sam's directing all this from above. You know, he, he's got this, he's got us covered. Brody, I already had my first meal then. At Grandma Peggy's table, grief brought them together. They want to come to Grandma Peggy's and spend the day with me. <laughs> that was my heart. But it's love that keeps them coming back for seconds. I might need a bigger kitchen. We all love Grandma Peggy a whole lot, like with all of our hearts.